remember I'm in the back seat with Alan Hawke. Do you know is that one of the cars that was real? Yes, to land this Mr. Space. Walter Gretzky. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm still standing beside you. Hey, wow. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Just go ahead and pinch me. Go on now. They're crafted with 48-foot wooden schooners, the traditional kind. Stephanie Beaumont, welcome to CNBC, the show that celebrates all the people, places, and things that make the four Atlantic provinces so very special. From Nova Scotia to New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island to Newfoundland and Labrador, we take you to where the action is. And that's why we're in St. John's for the premiere of Republic of Doyle. The cast and crew have gathered, the special guests have arrived, and everyone is excited for the fifth season of this award-winning show to begin. In the next half hour, we'll chat with all the stars about this series milestone and so much more. Plus, we've got a Do You Know Doyle trivia rematch and some TV free stuff, too. With so much on the go, we best get going, beginning with the man himself, the always amazing Mr. Alan Hocko. How exciting is this, season five? I, I will say I'm very excited, and not a lot of people get season five, so I'm very grateful. Well, I remember when you and I talked, I may, may have been second season, and you said there's a five-year plan, there's a five-year storyline. Now you're there. Now what happens? Seven years. Seven years. Is there like a boondoggle? Is there an extended boondoggle now playing with the writing team to come up with the next two years or five years, or how does that work? Well, our first five-year plan was eaten alive in the first two years. Okay. And... After that happened, how's that now? You just went, oh my God, we need more. Or no, it just naturally sort of progresses. It starts to tell you what you want in a way. Like the characters start to speak to you, not in a delusional way. I'm not at home alone, having the characters speak to me, or am I? I don't know. Maybe I am. You're I very brilliant. We see you writing in the woods. Like that's. <laughs> I mean, how many people get to do that, right? Not, not a lot. Ocean side. It was and, amazing. Yeah. In the forest. Yeah. And it's a great job. I love it, and I'm so happy to be here. And to be home and to be able to be doing this and all these people are affected by it it's it's pretty overwhelming to be honest with you yeah i try not to think about it too much because everybody's having uh, our crew members have people are having babies and everyone's buying houses and it's nice i know it's a lot of pressure though and, but you think about Just keep uh, up their mortgage payments and martha bernard's wedding alone for the love of god and all that's good and holy you gotta have at least two more years i know and they all everyone meets on the set and love ensues yeah Love happens. Maybe could be called Alan. We don't know. Let's move along. And let's just talk about this. Uh, because every you talk about how many people here locally are dependent, but there are stars clamoring to be on this show. Now take us through who we can expect to see in season five. Season five, Victor, well, I'll just talk about uh, people who are coming back. You will right. see Paul Gross again. Yes. You will see Garber, Victor Garber. You'll see a bit of Mark Rich. A bit of him. Right. I hear he's got this big back behind the scenes yeah. saga. He does, but yeah. he, but he's a busy guy, so it's hard to nail that guy down. He works so much. Award-winning actor, by the way. Shout out. I right? know, amazing, Isn't that right? Amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. So proud of him. And uh, uh, we've got a bunch of amazing other guest stars, but one I'm most excited by is uh, Stuart Margolin, who played Angel in the original Rockford Files. He comes in episode two, which is That's next. That's a week. full circle moment That's for amazing. you, Alan Hawko. Oh, come on. Yeah, sitting in the okay. in the GTO together while I'm doing a Rockford, which is. You drive your car backward yeah, and you yeah. spin up with Stuart in the car with me was cool, to wow. say the least. Yeah, Dream, right. Tons of dreams coming true all over the place. It's now, magical. I have to ask you this because I had the good fortune of meeting Mr. Gordon Pinson at the Atlantic Film Festival. And he explained to me that he has yet to receive a call for season five. Now that's not true. He's a brilliant actor, so he had me fooled, if that's the case. It's not that he didn't get a call. It's just that we need to find the appropriate way for Maurice to come back. So you see, now, that gives us a little inkling. Now, by the time this show airs, we'll know what happens. But see, at the end of it, we thought he may have been hooked up or discombobulated in the premiere, but that's not the case. No, uh, uh, that doesn't happen in the premiere. He vanishes. So his entrance has got to be... Monumental, which it always is. Yeah. I was kind of hoping to wait to save it for... The right moment. Yeah, and maybe not even the season, because I wanted to drag it out a little bit longer. He was wearing a suit that he wore as Maurice Becker. And if it, oh, he wore the suit when you met him. Yeah, he oh. says he says he, he doesn't take a gig unless he gets the wardrobe. Is that right? That's the only way to go. I do the same thing. You do not. Yeah. You do not. Have you ever seen me dressed? Like the, the difference? Well, have you ever seen me undressed? In my dreams. But that's another show. No, seriously, you take the. Yeah, it's kind of like a little thing you should do. You should 
negotiating your contract to keep your clothes. And if you're in a period costume, obviously it's more difficult, but... It's limiting, yeah, right? Yeah. Socially. Yeah. Socially speaking. <laughs> I only have one other question, um, and that is about love. And here's the thing, because I, I really believe, in all honesty, there's been some real on-screen chemistry moments. There's been, you know, um, the, 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 I'm thinking Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. I'm thinking, you know, Casablanca with Ingrid Bergman and Humphrey Bogart. And then I think Alan Hocko and Kristen Pelgrim. Wow, that's that's some pretty uh, amazing company to be don't included. Don't you see that? I mean, when you look at the footage back, don't you go, "Wow, what a how did we luck out with that?" Yeah, you do. I I uh, think that the chemistry there is insanely tight. Yeah. And uh, she's a fantastic actress to work with, and yeah. she's so easygoing. She's nicer than you ever wished she was. She's like a little flower yeah. for those of you playing the home game, isn't she? Yes, she she's is. She's like this gentle, tiny, gorgeous, precious thing. She totally, totally is. And she was fierce last season. Yeah, and she doesn't let up this year either. No. And uh, it's so fun to write for her, and she's a generous uh, actor with other actors. She's generous with the work that she gets to do. It's, I love her. Wow. Well, we love this show. We're so glad you're back for season five. We're looking forward to six and seven and eight and nine and ten. And congratulations, Mr. Hawk. Thank you. Wow. That's $50, $60, What is that now? I'm loving that we're here for this special premiere screening and we'll catch up to the perfect Miss Pellerin in just a bit. First though, a fellow whose love for Jake comes with a bit of a harder edge. It's taking everything out of me not to flatten you right now. Okay. Let's go. Sean McGinley, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Well, it's exciting that we're here for season five and did you ever imagine that you'd be here in a fifth season? Not at all, no. Uh, we don't know from year to year, uh, so we, we usually get the word around. But when you got the script in the first place, yeah. did you ever say to yourself, well, I'll be here in five years? No. 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 Is that true? <laughs> he said without hesitation, no, I might add. No, because you don't, you don't, uh, like when you get, you, I've, I've been doing this long enough to know that uh, there are no guarantees and no right. certainties in this. But um, I, I, I consider myself very lucky yeah. to have encountered this bunch of people and to uh, spend a lot of time in this place. It's, a, it's an amazing place. And you're engaged as an actor too. Would that be a fair assessment? Like the scripts make you happy? Yeah. yeah. We, have, we have a very good writer's room. Uh, to quote, uh, we have many voices speak as one. You know, it's a very organic thing yeah. at the moment. And they've worked very hard on that. Right. And it incorp it embraces this place, St. John's, right. uh, visually and culturally. Yeah. Uh, and without any apologies. And I think that's kind of what sets it apart. Yeah, there's, nothing, there's nothing like it on no. TV. St. John's plays a major role in the show for sure. And thanks to an international audience, the series promotes Newfoundland and Labrador around the world. And here at home too. Coming up, we'll head to the Doyle home. The interior set, that is, for some friendly competition. Right now, though, it's time to salute the sergeant who's won Jake's heart. I'm just happy to see your face. Honestly, I never thought I'd see it again, and it was killing me. I'm sorry for all this. Oh my gosh, I love this woman. I was looking at you. How so are you? happy to see it's you so again. Good to see you too. And season five, Kristen Keller in season five. I know. Does it seem like a blink ago we were going season four? I know, or right? season two when I met I you mean, in season two in the, at not, Blue. I had a drink at Blue on Water and thought of you tonight. Oh, did you? I did. I love I that place. To Listen to me, and when I tell you this, I was looking at tape, and I had said this to um, Alan Hocko, the chemistry is extraordinary between you two. It's really special. I, I don't think you come across that very often. I don't. I, I, mean, I don't feel that very often with no. very many people. Is that true? No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. very, very... It's one of a kind, right? Like, which, yeah. which leads me to my next question: Will there be love in season five? I really hope so. See, that's n that gives me nothing. <laughs> Give me something, like, because it felt like you were well on your way in season four. Mm -hmm. Like we were on a track for goodness. And I think if it were up to them, but there are so many obstacles in the way, and people come. Uh, there's there's lots of people who come into the picture that that complicate things in ways that you cannot imagine. I can't wait. Yeah. Except I'm always rooting for you. And like, there's a contingent of us on Twitter that are like, Jake and Leslie forever, right? Oh. Does that make us crazy? No, I think that's great. I promise, I'll never leave your side. 
Oh, they're so great together. Great too is the fact that in addition to Doyle, Kristen Pellerin is back on the stage, singing up a storm and doing theater too. This fall she'll perform in a St. John's production of Oleana alongside Steve O'Connell, AKA Sergeant Hood. Sergeant Hood kind of mean. Kind of what? Kind of harsh. Kind of. Kind of, um, kind of, again. yeah, he kind of, just like, just, just the facts, ma'am, right. kind of guy, I and think. And every now yeah. and again we see a softer side of you. Well, he's a big teddy bear. He's a bit of a teddy bear. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I love that you'll do anything for an apple flip, but that's pretty much your yeah. bottom line. Is yeah. that right? And I don't even like him. Come on. In real life, you don't? <laughs> no. Never had one. You've never had an no. apple flip? Where are you from? I'm from here. And you've never... I can get you one. I don't like boiled fruit. Ah, oh, you can't beat an apple flip. Question is, can Martha Bernard beat Mark O'Brien in Doyle Trivia? We'll find that out after the break. Plus more fun from the Season 5 premiere and TV Free Stuff 2. Hang on to something. We'll be right back. Welcome to this Do You Know Doyle Extreme Edition, starring two stars who uh, are starting out as friends and co-stars, but maybe who knows how it's going to end up. We uh, checked the tape from our original Doyle and Doyle trivia round and determined that Martha Bernard and Mark O'Brien were our top scorers. And now we will go head to head. They each have a sound device. Please make sure it works properly. Oh, oh see now? Okay, very good. I'm going to read the questions. It is rapid fire. I encourage you to buzz in if you know the answer. However, if you do answer incorrectly, I will read the question in its entirety for your competitor and you will be out of that round. Well, Does anybody have any questions? No. All right, here we go. Our first category, be our guest. Of course, Republic of Doyle, famous for having guest stars, national, international. But the folks here at home, yes, they also get to be on. I'm going to read you uh, two Newfoundlanders, okay? You tell me who appeared on Republic of Doyle do we, first. Do we have to wait until you've said everything? No, you do not. Okay. But again, I repeat. Oh, first, first, first. Whoever weighs in okay. first, okay? If you're wrong. And who appeared first? This is who appeared first in the series. Okay. You're talking too much. Okay. okay. Sorry. Here we go. Nervous. Seamus O'Regan, Sean Majumder. <laughs> oh, I believe, Martha, we were first. Sean Majumder. Yes. Sean Majumder was first. He was in the premiere episode. Seamus O'Regan was in Shame the finale of season one. That's right. Oh, my gosh. Well, you got a ringer oh. there now. No. Sean Doyle. Mark Critch. Oh, I believe that was Mark. Mark Critch. Oh. Sean Doyle. Yes, what? yes, indeed. Doyle. They had one episode separating them. Uh, know, Sean one, Doyle one, was 105. 104. That's right. Blood is blood. Okay, here we go. Oh, tricky, tricky. All right, here we go. Jody Richardson, Alan Doyle. Oh. Alan Doyle. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. oh, I think it was Mark. So we'll and, give and that. And the answer is, is actually Jody Richardson. No, yeah, it's Jody Richardson. It's Alan Doyle. No, it, it's not. You're, you are Mark. Mark O'Brien is correct. Jody oh, Richardson Jody appeared O'Brien. in 109. He sleeps with the chips. Alan Doyle didn't come in until uh, 202. Oh, I thought Popeye did. Doyle. All right, and our last one in our BR guest category: Shannon Tweed or Mary Walsh. <laughs> I believe that was Martha. Mary Walsh. That is correct. She was in 103, Duchess of George. Uh, Shannon draw. Tweed, not in until season three. Our next category, <clears throat> the final frame. Each of these questions, you need to answer what the last frame was in the finale of each of these season episodes, if that makes sense. So that the last frame okay. in the season finale, in season one, where is Jake going? <laughs> oh, that, was, that is correct. In season two, Jake drops what from his hands? <laughs> Martha Bernard. Drops what from his hand? Yes, that is correct. Uh, a gun? Oh. Mark, would you like to weigh in? Drops? Yes. He has something, he has two items in his hands, he drops one of them. I don't know. He was on Leslie's doorstep, he drops a dozen roses. Oh. All right, very good. Season three, under pressure, what is Jake holding? Mark O'Brien. Me. Yes, that is correct, Des. <laughs> yeah. I could have said who, but it would. And in season four, what color is Jake's shirt? <laughs> Martha Bernard. Blue. Yes, it is blue. We're moving on now. Tune in, the musical side of Republic of Doyle. Oh, it's all drama, sure, on the screen, but uh, in the off season, there's more to be talked about. All right, you need to answer the question, starting with number one. Whose sister is a member of the band, the Gramercy <laughs> Riffs? I believe that was Mark Kristen O'Brien. Kristen Pellerin. Yes, that's right. Her name is Mara Pellerin. All right. 
who was once a member of the band's Drive and <laughs> Kelly... Ru oh, again, Mark O'Brien. Sean Panting. Yes, that is correct. And Kelly Russell and the Planks. In fairness to Martha Bernard, I'm not even sure she was on the planet. I don't think she was. All right, number three. Right now. Whose brother is an accomplished conductor? <laughs> uh, Martha Bernard. Uh, Alan Hocko. That is correct. Greg Hocko composes for the show as well. Really number four. <laughs> Linda Boyd sang and toured with a band in the 80s. Name it. Uh, Martha Bernard. I'll be so impressed. I just heard it the other day. I totally forget. Two point deduction. <laughs> Mark O'Brien. I'll give you both a hint. It's a kitchen appliance. The fridges? No. Oh, so close. No. Martha Bernard, it's coming to her now. We're moving on because we're running out of time. The blenders, everyone. The blenders. And the last question in this round. Which member of the band The Once has appeared twice on Republic of Doyle? Mark O'Brien. Philly Church. That is indeed Philly Church. All right. Our, our very last category. Just the facts. Just the facts. It's a cornucopia of trivia now. <laughs> Number one, what special shape is the window above Leslie's bed? Martha Bernard. Diamond. Mark O'Brien, would you like to weigh in? Heart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a half moon. It's a it's a circular. Oh, it's a half yeah. circle. She would. Number yeah. two. <laughs> Number two. Like. What color is the Doyle house? Mark O'Brien. Green. Yes. Number three. Who was really guilty of killing Karl Marr's <laughs> wife? I think that was Mark O'Brien. I don't know. Who was really guilty of killing Karl Marr's wife? Bob Marr. His mother. Yes! Ow! Martha Bernard. Uh, All right, very good. Very good. Nice. No, that, was nice. that was nice. Uh, <laughs> was it based on this Number book? four. What nickname did Christian have for Jake as a boy? Buttons. Yes, Buttons is right. Two more questions remain. Number five. Allison appears very dressed in most of the episodes. In one, however, she was wearing a hockey jersey. Martha Bernard, what was on the hockey jersey? St. John's Maple Leafs? No, mm. Mark O'Brien. Um, ice caps? So close. We're going to need a judge's ruling. St. John's ice caps. We're going to give it to her. It's the caps. The caps. I don't know. It's not oh, no, St. John's. No, it's not the same thing. That's the Capitals. That's okay. St. John's Capitals. It's oh, team. Okay. okay. And yeah, so, therefore, right. nobody gets that question. Nobody yeah, gets that fair. question. But we've learned a little bit more about sports here in St. John's. <laughs> yeah. All right. And our very last question. What is the name of the magazine that confirms Dez's residence in episode 209? Puppy Party? Ooh. Puppy Party? Is that a thing? It's something like that. I was in that scene. You were in that scene. It confirmed your residence. Linda Boy goes, yes, he does live here because his name is on this magazine. No? No, I don't know. Best in show. But you were dog You were very close, and yet we can't give it to you. Oh, we're I'm looking now to Jonathan Schwartz for our, our final. It depends how close we are. No. Mark O'Brien takes it. Eight to six. Eight to oh! six! Eight oh, to six, man. Mark O'Brien. Eight to six and a half. Is, is there going to be a rematch? Oh yeah, you're on. I choose not to play. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone out there who's who's really given 110%, just like I did, and everyone out there who is a real, real winner, just like I am. And, and I, uh, I'm just gonna remind all the children not to cheat the way some people do. And I'd also like beforehand. to specifically not thank Martha Bernard, a terrible competitor and an awful friend. <laughs> Ow! Uh, great fun and always awesome to see those two off screen and on. And something tells me there'll be plenty of action for Des and Tinny in season five. One fellow responsible for the stellar writing on the show is that guy, that's Perry Chafe. And we'll chat with him at the premiere party in just a bit. Now, while Mark and Martha finish up their scenes for the day, I say we head to break with a bit of Doyle trivia for you. We've got the complete Republic of Doyle season four, three DVD box set with a ton of truly cool special features, plus a 2014 wall calendar that's all up for grabs and it could be yours if you can tell us what's the special shape of the window above Leslie's bed. Neither Mark or Martha got that one in our trivia round, so hopefully you will. Once you know it, hit the website. It's www.cnbc.com. Click on the TV free stuff button and submit your answer. Good luck to you, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to our Republic of Doyle Season 5 premiere screening special. This show's about to start here, so let's catch up quick with the rest of the cast. This moment is only ruined by the fact that what? your gorgeous wife is not with you. I, it is, actually. It's really sad. But her Murdoch premiere was two I nights know, ago. 
right? And did very well, so it's all good. It's your all good. Your family is rocking it. My family is rocking it. Hey. It's weird. Yeah, she's my wife. She's my family she's now. Your fa well, when she tweeted yeah. today, my hubby, I thought, oh my goodness, that's right. Isn't that hey, sweet? My hubby has his premiere. And my cat actually just got a part on a show as well. <laughs> Cats and Dogs 5, The Adventures of Louie, which Louis. is my cat's name. Is that true? Yeah. Mark yeah. O'Brien, let's just talk about it. We, we, talk. we cried uh, buckets at the end of season uh, three. Good. Hoping that you would be back for season four. And we really rested easy. I'm not going to kid you between four and five. Yeah. Because you were in no danger at all. I finally was in danger. Although I got hit a lot. You did. I got beat up a lot. And that, and every time I'd see Alan right after and he'd be like, hey, hey, hey. so I think it was just a personal vendetta. Which I'm, I actually kind of like vendettas. They're kind of fun. It's like a dad's drinking game, though. Who's playing that one at home? Yeah, right? every time I get hurt. People. But I did. But Tina did break my heart at the end. Remember, she was kissing Grayson. And uh, what kind of name is that? What a dweeb he is. What a, a dweeb. Can I use that word? Are the kids still use your? Is that hip? No. What would be the? Uh, I think I'm even too old for that word, and I'm 16 years old. Yeah, dweeb is out. Let's come up with something else. You'll have to beep it out, though. Right. What Let's the kids do, are saying these what are days. What the kids saying? Oh, I don't want to say. You'll have to. Can you put a beep on this? Yes, boy. <laughs> <laughs> they're saying like, uh, they're saying silly boots. Silly boots. He's a, Grayson's a real silly boots. And now, uh, what about love in season five? Quickly, because I'm getting a rap cue. I don't believe in love. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's more love than ever in season five, actually. Is that true? There's a lot of love. Love making. <laughs> Nudity of any kind, remember? Tons, you tons. I keep a promise. A lot of nudity, a lot of love making. Hello, little child. I shouldn't be saying that in front of. Anyway. Marco Brian, congratulations. We, we, we love you. We Thank really you. do. Thank you so much. You're love you too. Sweetest. Thanks. Linda Boyd, how are you? I'm excellent. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. We were at set today. I missed you in the Doyle house. Yeah, I got wrapped early. I uh, shot a couple of scenes in a hospital room and then. Budding. Wait now, there. wait now. Not a spoiler. We've shot in hospital rooms before. True, so, true yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. True mm -hmm. enough. You have a, a job now as an orderly. Candy striper. Right. Candy striper. <laughs> so what's it like now, season five? I just asked Sean McGinley this question. I said, did you ever imagine when you first got that no. script? No. I thought I had a job in some place called St. John's because I've never really paid attention in high school. Um, uh, for six months, yes. and now I own a house here, and I, you know, have a great five. job, and we're in season five. What's been your favorite part of this season? Because I've heard there's been love. Mark O'Brien said there'd be nudity. I don't know about Mark that. O'Brien, in his dreams, <laughs> there'll be nudity. <laughs> What's been uh, your favorite part, though? Just uh, empirically speaking, is it the guest stars? Is it the action? Is it the it's location? The writing has kind of bumped up to this whole new level this year. Is that true? Yeah. It totally has. And so, like, I read the scripts more times now so that I'm on top of it because they're more intricate and um, a lot more action packed. And I'm getting to do some stunts. I've, nice. I've kicked some butt this You're year. You're doing your own stunts. Oh, I do my own stunts. <laughs> I'm, oh, I wake up the next day. I did a stunt the other day where I was, I got, I had to um, grab the gun out of this woman's hand. She punched me across the face and then she grabbed me by the hair. I woke up the next day, we did about 50 times. I had no core muscles left. I could not, so yeah, so lots of fun. Oh my gosh, well we look forward to all the action. Uh, Linda Boy, congratulations again. It's always a Thank pleasure you. to see you, my yeah, dear. Yeah, you too, my dear. Well, I'll tell you what, she's the sweetest. <gasps> photo bombs oh, by oh. Alan Hocko. If you're Video gonna be bombed. photo bombed, hey? Video look bombed. business. All right, Martha Bernard, how are you? Good, great. I mean, I yeah. feel like we've uh, we've just, I don't know, it's just been this whirlwind of now we're at season five and how did we get here? I don't know, it's super surreal. I can't even believe that we're here and there's uh, there's more pictures being taken this year than any other year, of You're course. much beloved and you're international. You're superstars, really. It's crazy. And the States now, I mean, In the States, on. yeah, yeah. I mean, who would have thought? I, I When we were shooting the pilot, we couldn't have dreamed of this, no. so it's amazing. And I will dare say that you've dressed up quite a lot since those. I, I gave you a hard time about those tights the last time we talked. Wardrobe. Right. Yeah. But anyway, you look beautiful. And you got this dress from a friend's store. Yeah, right. my friend owns this great boutique in St. John's called Opal and Onyx. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Well, yeah. You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Now, what's been your favorite part? Mark O'Brien has said there's been nudity. That's not true, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Mark takes his clothes off a little bit this season, but... The rest of us Nobody keep them on. Nobody wanted it, and it wasn't in the script. Would that be fair? Um, we'll see. We'll have to see. Alan wanted it, really. He just wanted it. He didn't want to be the only topless guy on the show, so no, Mark stepped up to the plate. I know, and I have to let you go because the screening's about to start, but how about you on the, on the big screen? 
Oh, I don't know. Hopefully something coming up soon. I did a short um, that... Yes! Yeah, so that's still yes. in post-production, and that, oh that should be coming out soon, and hopefully that'll be... The little smidge of it for. I saw was absolutely beautiful, yeah. and we are so excited about season five. Oh, great. Are you happy about what happens to Tinny? Just give us a, a yes I or am. no happy. Happy. Yeah, it's going to be a great season. I think it's our best one yet. It was incredible to see the season five premiere with the cast. If you missed Bon Cop, Bueno Cop, want to see it again, or any other episode of Doyle, just visit their website. Now we've got one more man to meet before our night is complete. <laughs> okay, now Perry Chafe. Now I'm gonna just gonna put. I'm putting it all on the screen. And then a co-show runner. Right. Co-show creator. Yes. Co-executive producer. Yes. And uh, uh, writer. And yes, writer. Yes. Yeah. Oh and, my God. And downright huggable. Oh, hey? oh, oh. Now that's not in the credits, I but I've heard that. that. What a premiere. Did you like it? Oh Did you enjoy it? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, we're very excited Action about it. Pack. Were you in Mexico? Uh, no, we filmed that actually in Toronto. So we had we did a little uh, improvisation, but it, it felt like Mexico. I thought yeah, it, it was did. lovely. So uh, no, we're really excited about tonight. I mean, we're really really blessed to have five seasons of yeah. TV. I mean, how lucky, you know? Oh my I mean, gosh. And, and the fans love it. So I mean, and, very... and the stories are still coming. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. just from this episode alone, you're like, oh my god, and who's that guy in the doorway, and what's going on? Let's talk about him. He I looked know, good. Right? Uh, he looked very suspicious to me. We're lucky this year to have. We have 16 episodes. Yeah. So uh, super this, size. Super size. So yeah. this year, actually, the first time we're actually uh, airing while we're filming. So uh, we're going to start it in October. We're also going to have a January uh, uh, viewing as well. So two seasons, kind of in one. So tomorrow is business as usual. Yeah. We go back to work and we start filming uh, episode 11 and we're writing and breaking episode 15 and 16. So uh, no rest for the weary, no. but like it's, You're looking it's fantastic. fresh as a daisy, Perry Chase. Oh, oh my God, yeah, it's really a lot are. of makeup and I sleep in an uh, oxygen chamber which uh, does wonders for the skin. i got to ask you this though, because you're a creative guy, right? Do, are you sleeping Sometimes. and then you go, oh, I've got it. Uh, like, when does that, how do you write? How, what's your process? Uh, no, absolutely. It, it, you kind of never shut it off. It's like inspiration comes from everywhere. And living in St. John's, it's like, and in Newfoundland, Labrador, it's like inspiration. Every every second person's a writer yeah. or a dancer or, right. or a painter or, you know, like, it's amazing. Yeah. So uh, this it, we're so blessed to have such talented people right. in this in this province that we love so much. And I love that Republic of Doyle uses them all. Yes. Hey, oh, yes. what a roster. I know, we, we're, we're truly blessed to have an all-star roster cast and, and our guest stars i was gonna say and people clamoring to get on the show oh yeah, absolutely in the last five years it's kind of been a winning formula for us it's kind of like great setting cool hero a super cool car and, yeah. a, and a guest star it's a formula that's been like around since you know the 70s and 80s right so uh we kind of uh, re kind of reinvented it here and it seems to be working you know but we're truly blessed again our fans our fan base is so loyal and you know, tonight it's great to see our show in front of a live audience right. and how they react and you know what they like and so on. Yeah. So, and, and that too is invigorating. So tomorrow I'm going to go in and write stuff now because right. of that. There you go. And I love that it's taken us five seasons to get yes. this man, the elusive Perry Chafe. We have now got him. The, the, I'm, I'm just an actor playing hey? him. I'm no. a terrible actor playing him, so it's like. To watch this show again or see any other episode of CNBC, visit www.bellalliant.net. They're all there on demand. And for all kinds of exclusive features and one on one interviews with the Doyle cast, visit our site at www.cnbc.com. There are fans and there are fans. And this couple flew in all the way from Digby, Nova Scotia, the Halliburtons. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. Enjoying this very much. I mean, how exciting is Are you big fans of the show, though, oh, Mr. Halliburton? Oh, big Halliburton? fan. Now, and that might be because you have a, a, a family member on the crew, would you say? Or? It helps. Does it? Exactly. And Jake is cute, let's be clear. Oh, everybody loves Jake. I know, right? <laughs> no matter what age. That's a fact. Well, I'm excited that you're both here. And, of course, Troy Marr, who's our camera guy, we love him. He's wonderful, isn't he? I'm yes, wonderful. He is. <laughs> That's why we're here. Oh, very good. Apart from the show. Well, fair enough, because yeah. Alan Hocko is cute. Now, where do you stand on I... Leslie? She's Leslie's pretty. cute. I wouldn't say Alan Hocko is very cute. <laughs> <laughs> the only two women in the whole place that screamed louder than I did when Mark O'Brien took off his shirt, ladies and gentlemen, Lisa and Angela. Hey? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, what a great show. It was fantastic. Hey? It was Lots excellent. Of Lots of action. It was incredible. Scale of one to ten, what's your, what's your, what do you think in season five going into it? 
if that's if that sets the bar, then 10 plus. Yeah. That that blew me away. It was like every minute something different was happening. I was like, what? You yeah. know? So you kept getting surprise, surprise, surprise. And now I'm a romantic. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Or yeah. See, I want to see Jake and Leslie together. And that guy at the end, he seems like trouble. That'll probably be the finale. The big wedding. The finale. That's what I'm thinking. Who do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just a guess. Just a guess. Yeah, but that seems like, like a love interest from the past or something. Maybe coming into the scene, that guy at the end of the show. There's something sinister about it, but I think there's a connection there somewhere. I think he's going to be trouble. We have our own focus group going on here now. <laughs> Barkeep, another round. Well, that's going to do it from here in St. John's. The fifth season of Republic of Doyle now underway, and what a time we have had. We thank the cast, and we'll look forward to all the action. Oh, my goodness, it's going to be good. I'm Stephanie Beaumont. We'll see you next time. What a show, Alan. And I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad I'm alive too. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And there's love. There's love and right And partial here. nudity. I mean, right. it had it all. In about five minutes, there'll be a lot more partial nudity. <laughs> Stay tuned.